Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can communicate with Factory I.O. Simulator with your RS Logics 5000 and I'm using my emulator over here as a PLC. So on my right side here I have Factory, uh, factory I.O. Simulator where I have already built one panel which has uh, all the lights and display e-stop and buttons over here. So first of all, you have to go to file and drivers. And under the driver, all these tags you have to create in your controller tags, like as I showing over here, all of them. And now what you have to do, you have to go to configuration. <clears throat> here you're supposed to put your host IP address and the slot which one your processor has right now on my processor slot number four i'm using as a version 20 and this ip address you need to use let me pull up my rs links so i can show you guys this links gateway ethernet which is 192.168.1.195 that's what i'm using over here as a host id you come back up and now you try to connect with it. If it's connected green like that, it means it's successfully connected with your processor over here, which you gave. Now, what you have to do, you go back on your simulator side, and when you need to press this simulator start, and now I will be able to see everything communicating with my uh, with my software so as you can see the first bit over here I'm using as my uh, start button when I press this it changes to 1 and then let it go 0 and second one I'm using this uh, reset button as you can see it's turning on and off which means it's communicating this stop button is also working e stop is working let's see the output side where I'm using this display if I put here 6.78, hit enter, as you can see 6.78 is showing on that display right now. So that means my software, both are communicating to each other without any issues. In next video, I'm going to show you how you can create this panel over here. Till then, thank you very much for watching.